The Hunter River Health Check was an idea developed by the Belltree's Public Schools and Youth Environment Council when they were looking at ways they could target the sustainable development goals and the concept of life below water. We reached out to local land services to support us in this and they came on board with the idea of testing the length of the Hunter River from the heads of the river at Elliston all the way down to Carrington at the estuary, um, allowing us to get a snapshot of the Hunter River's health and the different aspects that come with it. So today we are testing the rivers near the Belltree School as well as Elliston Public School and we also have Scone High on board testing the rivers closer to Scone. I think I found some Tobias and Calopsha. Today I have been testing water pH, um, see if it's full of acid or alkaline and I have also been testing the stability of water which to see how clear it is and how far you can look through it. So then we can, um, so the fish and the insects in them can be nice and healthy and not die. First of all, is this one here, this is a bug survey. Now, have a close look at that. See that? Can you see that? See that? My name is Jack. When I was Lara, I come to Ellison Public School. We have been testing waters if they're safe and non-safe and the degrees. And we have been learning the different scientific names of water works and water cleaning. So basically, if it's clear, it would be safe, I'm pretty sure. So Haddon Vale is where it's a lot clearer and then down at Newcastle, because that's where the river finishes. It's very muggy and plus it's closer to the sea. It was, it was very scientific and it was very fun that we had a visit from belt trees. It was fun as, and I, bought, I think everyone enjoyed it. Moving forward, we hope to continue to check the river on a twice a year timeline to see how the river is faring as we go into dry conditions and drought conditions. We hope other schools will jump on board and support the process and if they're interested in getting involved to reach out to Jane Lloyd-Jones at the Hunter Local Land Services to find out more information.